Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So it's a different video. It's not a rainbow video, but I've been getting more into Unturned. I started up my own server and everything. And I was looking at the maps to what map to use. And all the maps that I found that were really, really good were not vanilla. Kind of sucked. Uh, there was a lot of missing assets. And so I just started making my own ser server. And then I decided why not make a Unturned like map developing series about developing maps like like this uh, so I'm not f like new to this whole thing I did a lot of like modeling and stuff uh, with like meshes and planes and vertices and all that shit when like in blender for for just fun as a hobby just made some cool things whipped up some things and I, I learned a lot from there that helped me to this day like the way I view things and I just wanted to make tutorial videos on how to do some of these things I've figured out on my own so yeah so there's like this really cool technique you can use to making hills right as you can see these hills are pretty nice they're pretty nice hills they they look really nice just amazing right and the swamp right here these little hills look also pretty nice too okay anyways I like to see a good size comparison and see what what it's gonna look like. Uh, so now you have just a better view at everything. You can see, you you can feel the shape of stuff, right? So you wanna go to height and then start building. So you don't really wanna have it too strong of the strength because if it's too strong, it's gonna just go ham. You don't really want that. You want to go slower and if you go slower, you're more precise. Uh, that's a little too much. There we go. So you can make some nice hills. So first you want to start out with a bump, a little lump, right? You want to start up with a little lump. You can make it look however you want, a little lump. Then when you're done with your lump, you want to click W and get some smoothing. Uh, the smoothing, what the smoothing would do and make it less of a steep slope. Uh, Cause hills aren't steep. Mountains are steep. You're making a hill. You're not making a mountain. Smooth this out, right? And look at that. It looks it looks nice. It lo it looks nice so far. And you can you can stop here. This is a good good hill, pretty much. Or you can take it a step further. Further, you can click Q and then make it a little less strength and make him smaller, not too small. And then you can just like grow out these lines coming from the hill like this right and you can see the triangles you can see they're made out of triangles and they're not that small if they were smaller you can add more detail but you're limited in that i think some games have like more vertices you can work with in maps and stuff but so you make this line going from the top of the, the hill the line then you get the smoothing you get the smoothing uh, and you smooth it down. Uh, it looks pretty nice, but you can still see the tr those triangles and vertices, so you can always pick up the strength, smooth it down real quick. Boom! The the hill it just makes the hill look so so much better. It just adds like so much more detail to it. We'll go to the front here. Uh, also, these hills are okay too. I seen I literally seen hills like this in real life. But I like adding this because it just looks it just looks cooler, you know. So we'll click Q again. We might decrease the size of this actually. Oh, this is the smallest it can go to. Okay. We might increase it then. Uh, and then you can just do W, smooth it out. You know, add those little lines. Uh, mountains have those lines. You know, when they erode over time, they'll, they'll start making crevices like this. And it's pretty cool. It just. That's pretty cool. Um, that was a little too big. Oops. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Because if you mess up on that, it kind of sucks. So, you know, go one more maybe will be good. And then smooth it out. Whoops. I didn't smooth it out. I keep clicking E. All right. So we got a hills. You can't really see. But, like, right here at this position I'm looking at. It's not that visible, but you can see there's like some difference, and it, it's different, right? 
And because of it being different, it's not just one blob just chilling there. There's like this right here, this overgrowth right here, oh, and right here, right? And then you can go to details, and then bake your grass. Oh, before we, oh, okay, that worked, I guess. Uh, so as you can see, it just, it looks so much nicer. It looks something you would like to run on, you know? Maybe go off-roading. It just looks so nice. It's a beautiful little hill. Uh, and here's your little dude for size comparison. Uh, what I did forget to do is bake high quality. Oh, materials. Bake high quality. Because, there we go, it's higher quality. And then, then go to details and boom. Amazing. Bake details to get the little thing. There we go. And look at this hill. It just looks so much nicer. And with having a lot of them using the same thing makes hills look more random and look, look makes them look more natural just in general uh so yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna end it right here sorry it's a little long i just have to introduce some things uh and i'm i'm, I'm also i'm gonna still play rainbow on this youtube but i also make on turn videos just because i really love this game and i'll see what happens if maybe my youtube channel will grow on unturned or rainbow so hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys later peace